do 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 Okay, so I'll count off six beats and then we'll just play a rhythm section. Let's do eight bars. And we'll do right to eight. Okay. One, two, three, uh, two. Why don't we just start off by you identifying who you are and what you're doing here? <laughs> and that's Phil Markowitz. You can never measure the importance of experience. Be able to play in an environment like this with these masters, you know, um, just brings out the most creative aspect of who you can be spiritually and musically. I wrote transitions actually for this group a while ago. I was uh, working on some sectional music. It's it's similar. It's even though the. Uh, the musical material is very different. The idea of the format is similar to what I did with the 12th Man on the first record, which was that I had, the idea was to write a through composed piece that had three distinct solo sections. And of course the idea of transitions is the transition from one section to the other. He could be soloing at C or he could just play eight bars and the second time, like first time, I can fill in between the melody at A. The second, if we do it the second time, then w the horns can kind of fill in between. Maybe we could just rehearse it at or just to tight, tighten up some of the rhythms. Yeah, let's play it down. Let's play it down slow so we really slow. get slow up and up, that yeah. whole thing, man. From letter A. Letter A? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll give you, I'll give you six beats. One, two, three, two, three. <laughs> Finally in C at 74, that's where we pick up the rhythm again, start playing that groove again. What, 74? Yeah, 74. And then we're back into the original thing. Yeah. These are E sharps. Those are, yeah, E sharps, D sharp. You wonder how somebody like Phil, who plays as well as he does, you know, is not any is not more well known I mean again the level of musicianship we're talking about I mean he's he I mean there's nothing he can't do I mean his compositions are extraordinary his facility not only his facility but his knowledge his musical knowledge we can decide whether we want to do the theme in twice or not there's an optional repeat at tw 29 back to A. So we can feel, feel that out. Listen to the questions he asks, the things he knows. That's what you've got here. These extraordinary musicians It's just the things, and I learned this by, from being with Miles, that the important thing is, your, your most important decisions about the music really are the capabilities of the musicians that you choose to play, being horn players, because they are the ones that are going to make you sound what you sound. And of course you need a piano player who knows the history of harmony, obviously, and who can take a major solo. That's this guy. Playing this music, since 1970, I just feel very fortunate uh, to be still doing this uh, on a very, what I consider to be a very high artistic level and a level that's un very uncompromising and feel very fortunate to be uh, an active artist in this year and I hope to keep going.
It's a very special band for all of us.